So things are getting intense as we are now seeing that the crypto market is crashing and people are now saying that Dogecoin, Bitcoin, and others are going to zero from here. So let's see what exactly is happening here and see if cryptos are going to zero or not. So we can see here that there is a massive sell-off in the market right now and all we can see here is that cryptos are in the red right now. From Bitcoin and Ethereum to Doge and Cardano, all the cryptos have crashed massively during the last 24 hours and this has led to a huge drop in the total crypto market cap and trading volume. Moreover, the extreme fear sentiment in the market is also getting intense and it is notable that investors are now pulling out of the crypto market. All in all, things are looking really bad right now and in this video, I'm going to talk about why it is happening and whether we are actually going to see cryptos going to zero or not. So what exactly is happening is that the Russian army has begun a military operation in Ukraine as missile explosions have been heard around several areas, including the capital of Kiev. As a result, markets have dropped in response and we are now seeing that the global crypto and stock markets plunged right after Russian President Vladimir Putin announced on a national broadcast that his army would conduct a special military operation in Ukraine. As I said before, the Russian army has launched missiles around several areas of the country and we are now seeing that volatility is spiking on in the crypto and major global financial markets. So the point is that investors worldwide are concerned about the global economy, soft fiat currencies, and geopolitical tensions, and market players and analysts are now saying that things can get a lot worse from here. For example, Michael James, the managing director of the investment firm Wedbush Securities, is saying that the current scenario is now really adding to elevated nervousness about further aggressive actions and what that will mean for commodities and inflation overall. So investors have continued selling as uncertainty builds around the globe and it is now driving the S&P 500 to its lowest point since June 2021 and the Nasdaq and Dow have also dropped to lows of nearly 8 months. The Nasdaq ended the day at minus 344, New York Stock Exchange slipped by minus 196, the Dow dropped minus 464 and the S&P 500 slipped to minus 79 by the closing bell. Moreover, equities stemming from the IT sector slipped 2.6% during the last 24 hours. So we can see here that it has been yet another case of intraday rejection for the stocks and equities, as well as for crypto. The fall of stocks appears to be really affecting the crypto market since we are now seeing that their mutual correlation has strengthened in recent times. So this means that Bitcoin and cryptos are now following the stock market closely and since stocks are crashing, cryptos are also crashing. Now another important thing I want to highlight here is that while equities and crypto markets have slid, the price of the precious metal gold continues to soar. So this is bad for Bitcoin and cryptos since investors are now considering gold as a safe haven and thanks to all this global uncertainty, they are now rushing towards gold while avoiding cryptos and stocks. And while the global geopolitical situation is intensifying and it is currently hampering the prices of cryptos, it appears that there is some silver lining as well and some analysts are still very hopeful. For example, Bloomberg senior commodity strategist Mike McGlone thinks that the current geopolitical tension in Eastern Europe and the current macroeconomic backdrop may not be a bad thing for Bitcoin and Ethereum. He is saying that Bitcoin, Ethereum, and the proliferation of crypto dollars may find a firm foundation in 2022 on elevated inflation and asset prices, along with tension surrounding Russia and Ukraine, and he has also highlighted that Bitcoin is now showing divergent strength versus equities. And another positive thing for cryptos amid this latest market crash and rising geopolitical tensions is that institutional investment is rising even during one of the most corrective periods for cryptos. As I highlighted in my previous video, despite price weakness and a perceived negative impact from the looming conflict in Eastern Europe, crypto's investment products saw weekly inflows totaling $109 last week. We can see here that institutional traders tipped almost $89 million into Bitcoin funds as Bitcoin now appears to be the asset of choice for sophisticated investors of late. So this is positive news considering the current situation of the crypto market since we are now seeing that institutional investors are not worried about all these geopolitical situations and they are now showing more and more interest in cryptos.
So I think this is very bullish news and this is exactly what the crypto market needs to avoid additional sell-off and move to the upside from here. In any case, I'd like to remind you here that this is no financial advice since I'm not a professional financial advisor. These are just my personal opinions, so it is recommended that you do your own research before investing in cryptos. And with that being said, let's come to Dogecoin's current price movement and I'm also going to share a massive price prediction for it in a minute. So as there is a lot of uncertainty and selling pressure in the market, we are now seeing that Dogecoin has crashed during the last 24 hours. It has now settled into a falling channel pattern on the daily chart as it moves lower in a downtrend between two parallel lines. Moreover, it is trading on lower than average volume, which indicates a period of consolidation is taking place and leans toward confirming that Doge has run out of sellers. And we can see here that Dogecoin is trading below the 8-day and 21-day exponential moving averages, with the 8-day EMA trending below the 21-day, both of which are bearish indicators. Moreover, it is also trading below the 50-day simple moving average, which indicates that the longer-term sentiment is bearish. Although, the good thing during the time of this price crash is that Dogecoin's daily RSI value is now in a downtrend and currently measuring in about 28%. For those who don't know, when a stock or crypto's RSI reaches or nears the 30% level it becomes oversold which can be a buy signal for technical traders. So this means that if traders realize this opportunity and start buying Doge, then it can decrease the current market pressure on it. And now, let's come to a very important price prediction for Dogecoin and its holders. So panelists from the product comparison platform finders have just predicted that the price of Dogecoin will reach 16 cents per unit in 2022 and they are now expecting its value to hit 32 cents by 2025 and 54 cents by 2030. So this is not a very bullish price prediction for Doge because everyone is expecting it to hit the $1 mark this year, but seeing the current market situation, I think this prediction is somewhat realistic. However, other proponents like Joseph Raksinski, a technologist from Thomson Reuters, have predicted that Dogecoin can reach 50 cents by the end of 2022 and it can also tap the $1 per unit by the end of 2025. And with that being said, let's come to Bitcoin for a minute. So we are now seeing that Bitcoin has faced yet another sell-off owing to the negative market sentiment and a lot of uncertainty around the global political situation. We can see here that Bitcoin is moving below its crucial moving averages and its MACD level is also falling, and this means that the overall market sentiment is bearish for Bitcoin. And crypto analyst Matthew Highland is highlighting here that Bitcoin has fallen through the support zone amid this recent crash. We can see here on this chart that Bitcoin is now trading below its support around the 39k region, and this means that things are getting quite bearish for it. And seeing this price chart of Bitcoin, Matthew Highland is saying that if we see Bitcoin falling below the 33k price level, then the 28.8k region would be the last line in the sand for it. All in all, if this geopolitical situation intensifies from here, then things can turn out uglier for Bitcoin and the overall market. However, there are still some indicators and data showing us that some hope is still left for Bitcoin. So we can see here that Bitcoin currently has a similar bottom structure as the 2018 and 2019 bear markets. It is exactly the same and I think that this is pretty bullish for Bitcoin. So as Bitcoin initiated a rally after making a bottom structure back in 2019 if history is any guide, I think that Bitcoin can do the same this year as well. But we have to wait for some time and more importantly, we have to wait for when this Russian situation resolves. Meanwhile, another bullish thing for Bitcoin is that the number of addresses holding at least 0.01 Bitcoin recently hit an all-time high at just under 9.5 million addresses. So this on-chain data is showing us that even when the price of Bitcoin is going down, the number of holders is increasing along with its adoption. Meanwhile, we are now seeing a very positive update for cryptos, and seeing such updates I'm still bullish on Doge, Bitcoin, and others even during this current market situation. So we are now seeing that after El Salvador, Mexico is going to be the next country to adopt Bitcoin. This is because Indira Kempis, a Mexican senator, has said that Mexico needs Bitcoin to be legal.
the senator is developing a crypto bill that is based on El Salvador's Bitcoin law, and she believes that Bitcoin was bringing financial inclusion to El Salvadorans. So other countries should follow it and adopt Bitcoin and cryptos. So as I said, this is very encouraging news, and this is why I think that cryptos are here to stay despite this high volatility in their prices. And coming back to Dogecoin, we know that its price has crashed recently, but the good thing is that its number of holders is still increasing. More importantly, I'd like to tell you that this Russian situation is going to be resolved soon, so Dogecoin and other cryptos are going to move to the upside in the near future. So there is nothing to be worried about. In any case, what are your thoughts on this? When do you think Dogecoin is going to move up from here? Let me know in the comments section below.